Ready for our next destination? Yes. Cool. It's going We're to take. Ready. It's going to take us about an hour and a half to get there to our Airbnb. So I'm looking forward to checking in and seeing how the place looks like. First stop is this place called Shuma's Bar. Okay, we are just about to cross the Sky Bridge. Here it is. Okay, so we're actually on the Sky Bridge already, but look at this view. <laughs> this is not the sky bridge just yet. I actually thought it was, but over there is the bridge. There's a nice brewery over there. Uh, unfortunately, it's closed. And this is the place that we love stopping over. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Shuma's Bar, Shuma, but unfortunately, it's closed till the first, well, till February. So we're quite unlucky, but this is such a nice place to go to if you're around the area. They definitely won, well, the good pub, well, I don't know. Definitely recognized by a lot of the locals and travelers because it's just a nice place to go grab some beer. Ta-da! We made it to the Airbnb. Um, the sun's going down. This is actually golden hour. It's about half past three and it's looking fairly modern. This is it. Now I know this is consisted of two units, so I'm not quite sure what unit we're gonna get, but this is our view. Look at all those mountains. We are essentially really off the grid in a sense where we are far away from Edinburgh, from Glasgow, or definitely not in the city anymore. Um, I'm just gonna wait for Eddie to double check to make sure that this is our place but it's looking fairly exciting and nice i can see two bottles of water waiting for us there i hope this is the right place one my keys and oh actually oh oh i could just enter i'm really really hoping this is it um nice coasters oh very very pretty actually Oh, actually, I think this is the bridge that we passed. Um, I'll double check with Eddie and just hopefully this is the right unit. Welcome to our Airbnb here in Dunvegan. We are going to enter this. We are in unit number two. This is it. And let's go see what it looks like inside. We actually already entered a bit. And we did bring our bags inside already. So... Beautiful view. Let's see what it looks like with the lights closed. So in case you want to have a buffet, this table actually extends here. All you have to do is fix the wood. This is how it looks like. And you do pretty much the same on the other side. So this is one, and this is two, and that's what it's going to look like. But without that, it gets a bit smaller since I guess we don't have that much space. You do want to maximize every little space you have here, so... Let's go check out what the kitchen looks like. Uh, Alright! Here's the kitchen! Um, let's have a look here. 
Ooh, very colorful spatulas. Are you happy with our colored spatulas? Yeah, so fun. Yeah, I think it's gonna make your cooking a lot more fun. So if you wanna make some soup, uh, bake, lots of knives there, bread knives. Over here, this is where you have your utensils. You've got a grater as well, scissors, a potato peeler, so pretty complete so far. And you've got your recycling bin over there. You've got some foil and some cling film. Then this pasta is open. I'm not quite sure if um, that's very sanitary because it's been open, but I guess if you boil it, it should be okay. And then you've got honey, um, some olive oil, soy sauce. This is some um, malt vinegar. And what do we have here? There's another pack here of long green rice. So it's opened as well. Then here there are some cleaning soaps for your dishes. And what's here? Da -da -da -da. Two small plates. It says keep clear space for meter. Okay, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what that means, but what I like about this kitchen is that it's induction. Well, I, I have it at home as well. This is very, very fast when you want to boil or boil or fry or just heat up your pan. It's so quick. Mm -hmm. Then we have an exhaust. Make sure nothing um, stinks. The, the room stays neutral and, and smell. Then we have an oven toaster. Yum. In case you want to bring some pizza over. Then there. Hello. Here's our microwave, nice and clean as well. And then we have mugs for your coffee, some glasses, wine glass in case you want to drink wine. There's sugar, but it's exposed. I suppose I would have wanted it to be covered, but it's there. Um, we have ground pepper and sanitizer. What are these two containers? Let's have a look. Found these two containers there. Let's have a look what's inside. Container number one, da -da -da -da. some tea bags. Mm, definitely black tea, a nice rich black tea, standard. And over here, coffee, coffee ground. So I guess that's instant. All you have to do is mix it with water. And we have a toaster for bread and i have a visitor here who's my date tonight yeah, oh thank you Marco. i really should be helping eddie um, i just want to make a quick tour of the place before we make ourselves very much at home so then it comes with some of these grains or mueslis so i guess you can mix this with your milk when speaking of milk we did request for milk let's open the fridge this is everyone's favorite Ta -da! And it's empty, but we have milk. So the hosts were nice enough to um, give us our request for milk so that we can have delicious coffee or tea with milk. The fridge is a decent size. I'm not very tall, but it's until my hips. So you could definitely bring some veg and other food over. Then what's here we have? Ooh, labidus. What's this called again? Well, some, some oat, I guess. This one? Uh, wheat bix. A wheat bix. How do you eat this? It's with milk. Oh, do you dip the whole thing in milk? No, uh, you pour milk over it. Okay, obviously I don't get this in the Philippines. Maybe we do, but I just, I didn't grow up with this. I grew up with a lot of American stuff. Is this like super British? It's better than the American stuff. I, well, yeah, definitely. I think this is much more, um, it's healthier in a sense where there's no extra sugar and everything's just all natural. And then you've got more oats. So we were, I don't see us getting hungry for, I don't see us getting hungry for breakfast. I don't, I don't know how to now. I almost forgot to check these. Um, we've got these little containers here. I'm not sure if this belonged to the previous tenant. It's still a bit dirty. Um, there is some salt and seasoning. I don't think that's meant for us. And there is a plastic bag there and an empty container. And let's open this. Ta-da! Since our space is quite cozy, I would say cozy and, or tight or small, we want to maximize our space. So I love these um, space-saving slides. 
and I love our plates as well, all printed. I think when your plates are printed, it makes eating much more fun. And you have these plates, orange bits, some blue bits. I think we're going to enjoy eating on those plates. And then, if you want to do some cooking, you have pots and pans, so that's quite nice. Of course, let's go check up, check out what's upstairs. Actually, I haven't even seen the toilet. So, what's behind this door? Da -da -da -da. Ta -da. Ooh. There is our shower. Lobby, I think I found your car key. Because <laughs> Eddie couldn't find his car key. There it is. But let me show you what it looks like. So from top to bottom, there's our toilet. I guess this is our radiator. When it gets very chilly at night. Hello. Um, got two towels, hand towels, body towels, towel for the floor so it doesn't get wet. Nice running water. Another mirror, I guess a place where you can put your toothbrush. And a much awaited feature, the shower. Nice and spacious. I'm very much looking forward to taking a shower and I love that there's like a waterfall feature. So that's one of my favorite features. The shower, are you looking forward to taking a nice warm shower? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay, so let's go check out what's upstairs. Hello, and... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Well, it's actually not even night time. It's just around 4 p.m. The sun goes down earlier at this time of the year. Let's put it light. There. And this is what the bedroom looks like. So, very cozy bed. very cozy lights just to show you how it looks like with nice lighting but over here we've got the TV Should really switch on the light Oop. so TV I'm not really sure if there's gonna be Netflix here just yet but here we also have some hangers since our room is pretty small you won't be getting we won't be getting a closet so everything will be displayed here nicely at least they have a full length mirror um if you're tall you might be hitting your head a bit <laughs> but that's okay and there you have it there is our full house room tour nice mood light there and let's go check out what eddie is up to <laughs> Dad gave me a cheese, uh, what's it called? Advent cheese, a cheese advent calendar. And we're gonna open it to go, we're gonna have some cheese to go with our potatoes. So, da da! Wow, look at all the cheeses. All right, so how this, how this works is, well, today's the eighth, so we opened this. However, we missed one. Where's two? They're all, they're all hidden. You got Are two. they hidden? Oh, That's the fun. That's the fun. Two. So we one, one. two, three, three. 
four. So we're gonna open all of this until the eighth. So I cannot wait. I'm so excited to open this. Let's see what it looks like. So let's go for number one. There we are, number one. Ooh, see, they're very small actually, but it's so cute. So what does it say? Applewood, number two. <laughs> this one it says West Country Farmhouse Cheddar. And then verse number three. <laughs> Yay! Woo. So I think the idea is every number or every day of the advent calendar will have a different flavored cheese. So thank you again, Uncle Pete. I'm so excited to use these guys.